The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus entered a village, and a woman named Martha received him into her house. She had a sister called Mary who sat at Jesus' feet and listened to his teaching. <coughs> but Martha was distracted with much serving, and she went to Jesus and said, But well, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her to help me. But Jesus answered, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. One thing is needful. Mary has chosen the good portion which shall not be taken from her. As Jesus said this, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you, and the breast that you have sucked. But Jesus said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. The Lord. In a grand <clears throat> beatification ceremony in Rome in 1983, Pope John Paul raised to the altar as blessed Maria Bahuadi, who was born in Galilee and died at the age of 33 as Sister Maria of Jesus Crucified in the convent of the Carmelite Sisters in Bethlehem. Blessed Maria was known affectionately in the convent as the Little Arab. When I was in Bethlehem in 91, I visited the convent and learned something of the marvelous mystical life of Blessed Maria. Jesus' words in the gospel today were true of her. Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken from her. Among the ordinary, extraordinary spiritual gifts, as well as her ecstasies and her visions and discussions with Jesus, was the gift of levitation. When sisters came into the chapel at times, Maria may be raised up on high, high on a tree, completely oblivious of everyone until her, her mother superior ordered her to come down and she obeyed immediately. <clears throat> Spiritual gifts are not given to us to show off. They're not given to us for our own promotion. And I don't presume to know why God grants quite unusual gifts to particular people. It's certainly not for notoriety's sake. Even when that lady in the gospel praised Mary that she happened to be 
the mother of Jesus and nursed him, and had that intimacy with him. Jesus dismissed, dismissed that as the main quality and source of holiness for Mary. He said, not to himself, but to Jesus' goodness, to his healing power, and his desire for unity among all those baptized into his life in the church. So I'm delighted to be here today with Father Lawrence, and Father Paul, and Father Ferdy, and to join all of you in praising God for the wonders that he works through him. To join with you as the, the thousand who were in the cathedral last night, to praise and thank God, and through faith ask for God's blessings also to be poured into their lives. As Father Lawrence said earlier, we celebrate today the birthday of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and to praise God for the wonders that He's worked through Mary, whom He called to be His mother. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is shown in the Scripture as the model disciple. When the church wants us to understand the dignity of each and every person, when the church wants us to know what men and women are capable of, when God, and what God expects of us, and what our destiny is in His grand design, blessed are you, Mary, for you believe that the promises the Lord made to you would be fulfilled. And that's my favourite recollection on Mary, my favourite reflection on Mary. Blessed is she who believes the promises. I'm reading something of Myrna's story, a lady saying to her and through her to us to live out too. God saves me, Jesus enlightens me, the Holy Spirit is my life, so I fear nothing. God saves me, Jesus enlightens me, the Holy Spirit is my life, and so I fear nothing. Mary, help me to believe God's promise. My faith continue to grow. Faith is not a static possession, something we get all at once. We used to talk about keeping our faith. But I'm, I'm grateful that through the right of Christian initiation of adults, that we've come now to understand rather that faith is a journey. It's a relationship with God that we live out in our lives. 